have mercy. I like Augustine because he sets the record straight. Yes, you must deny yourself, meaning, yes, you must ask yourself, oh, what are the things that I got to check in order for me to become a follower of Jesus? You must ask yourself, how does my life itself become a cruciform, a, 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 a literal reflection of Christ in me and Christ's work on the cross in my life. Jesus is saying, uh-huh, deny yourself, but listen, when you take up your cross, your cross must always reflect Jesus' work in you. Jesus is saying, uh, your suffering need not have an an endless uh, or insign or 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 clueless outcome. Uh, your suffering need not be masochistic in nature. Uh, your suffering and trial are not without purpose. Uh, but listen, literally, what God helps affect in us uh, is what God will command from us. Uh, if God calls you to this trial, uh, as God has called us. Through this season, every generation has to answer the call. We are being called through COVID. We are being called through Christian nationalism. We are being called through a season of literal mental illness, depression, and isolation. We as the church are literally being tried in the fire of fragmentation, of, of, the, of, 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 of division, and malice and God is asking some of us while we're in this trial will you still follow me will you still say yes to me will you still deny yourself I know you were right Lord I'm preaching to myself I know you felt like you had the right point or the right question but will you deny yourself and say God not my will but yours